So, genes, alleles, genotypes, phenotypes. Happy uh, St. Patty's Day. Here's my little thing. And my, uh, this is my synapsis tie. So, today's video, of course, brought to you by Curious Moranland. And let's get started with some vocabulary and see how do you go from this gene to a measurable trait that we would call a phenotype. So we'll start here, right? What exactly do we mean by traits? Characteristics, features, things that can be measured, observed, and a noticeable physical effect, ultimately from a gene. Right? So here's some chromosomes, and I'll make it into a karyotype. I've done this a couple times where we say, hey, here's a certain locus. That means the location of a gene. The different locations, the different chromosomes, whether this homologous pair, like if I were to label that H and little h, they mean something. Right now they're just arbitrary letters. But they actually do represent a segment of DNA. So let's how do we, we're gonna come back to this and actually label an allele, a genotype, a phenotype, and how we go from a gene to a to actual trait. How do we go from this to this trait? or whatever that guy has. So one thing that I recognize, and this is a pretty awesome website, and I'll put the link in the description, but if you, if I were to click this um, link, it would take you to here. And each one of the, you can click a chromosome, and then, and then you can actually move your mouse down and actually see all the different and genes, all the different traits that are located at a specific uh, segment of a chromosome. And that's what a gene is. And that's how you get, how do you get from this to these traits? Or how do you get from a segment of DNA, like right here, to this particular trait? How do you get from this, what is actually, what exactly is in there? Well, a row of nucleotides, DNA nucleotides, the four bases, the four letter alphabet. Now remember within each segment of that chromosome we need to talk about alleles. So we've mentioned we're going to talk about genotype, phenotype, alleles, and genes. Remember a gene is a segment of a DNA that codes for a specific trait. Well the subtle variations like here's the color, the trait, that's the trait. All right, that's the trait. All right, that's the trait. I'm doing a bad draw, drawing here, but all right. So purple or white, those are the alleles, meaning the variations. They're the variations. So how do you how do you know the difference? And let, so let's look at this uh, before we dive into the picture. And I want to finish up really quickly. Uh, this is a short video, hopefully. Take a look at the picture. And you'll see each one of these locations, we call them loci, that's the location of a segment of DNA that ultimately codes for a protein that will become a physical trait. And each one is called an allele. So we haven't, we're not going to talk dominant and recessive yet, but you can see homozygous, heterozygous. So let's go further in. So just a reminder, a phenotype is the physical expression of genes and a genotype would be the allele set or the letters. So remember this is all coming from unraveling a segment of a chromosome to unraveling and unraveling actually seeing nucleotides. So let's follow this this next set of pictures kind of a frame by frame and we'll close up this video. So remember a gene is a segment of DNA Here's the DNA represented by these geometric shapes. And then it's going to produce RNA. Notice every three letters is a codon. And then every three letters ultimately will be translated and produce an amino acid, an amino acid. Put them together and you have an amino acid chain. So let's remember the central dogma of genetics is DNA to RNA to amino acids. I need to just adjust this so you can see. All right. 
DNA to RNA to amino acids. Okay, so let's take a look at this next picture. All right? So, what is a gene and where what is a chromosome? All right? So here's a homologous pair. They are the same size, same shape, and the genes are on the same uh, location, same locus. Really, when you view a segment of DNA, you're actually at a specific location. So this this is a, a gene, and this is a gene. Or this is an allele, and this is another allele. So I'm going to do a frame by frame, and so first, let's take this segment of DNA and designate a letter for it. When you do Punnett squares, we don't have time to write out the whole DNA sequence. So we, we, we set up or assign a letter. So this is going to be the H little lowercase. This is going to be the H uppercase. And notice I just made one subtle difference. So you can see an allele is a variation of a trait. And that variation can ultimately be traced down to its DNA sequence. And over here I have a, de a letter designation where you can see the... Um, little h, in this case, like attached earlobes and free earlobes. So we'll use a human trait. Now, what I did is add some brackets so you can actually see the h allele. When you write h represents attached, really h is a segment of DNA that would fold and make a protein that would create the attached option, option or allele versus the free option or allele. So, see this arrow? Well, what's next? DNA to RNA. That's not going away. And the name of that process is called transcription. And I'm going to try and adjust the video so you can see all of it. So, all right. So, what happens after, from, after you do, get DNA? You've got to transcrelate it. So, that's going to give you amino acids and a protein. So, let's complete this picture here. That protein, it twist, folds, is modified. You can even bring in a little review of cytology and talk about where that would be taking place in like in a Golgi body um, to become a physical trait, a characteristic. So I've drawn some arrows over here. And notice my label. Let's start at the beginning. We have a segment of DNA. And during meiosis, the parent's genotype is saying that it's got, in this case, a capital letter H or lowercase. It carries the gene for free versus attached. We would call that heterozygous. And it can send the big H or the little h, meaning it can send this sequence of DNA or it can send this sequence of DNA. These letters are just arbitrary letters that help us understand that we have the dominant allele or the recessive allele. Either way, when it sends it to, the, to its child, that child is going to express either the gene it got from this parent or the other one, or some combination with some more complex genetic problems. But So then transcription is the, what is the gene expression? How do you get from here down to here to the noticeable trait? Again, the combo of genotype, transcription, RNA, translation. So DNA is transcribed, RNA is translated. That gives you amino acids, which combine as a polypeptide chain to make a and folds to become a functional protein. And then that protein becomes part of a visible trait that we call phenotype. And that's how we go from an allele, a combination of alleles makes a genotype, and the expression of the genotype makes a phenotype. All right, thanks for watching.